Matt, I wanted to congratulate you again on uh, being selected into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thanks, Alan. Yeah, I've yeah. got some questions, but I ask you about your background. Sure. What individual had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? You know, that's a really tough question to answer, and I'm sure everybody has mentioned that it just no. d does take a village to, yeah. to create a champion. And so I'm really thankful for my first coach, Larry Lear, who uh, was my coach from first grade to eighth grade, small town in, in Grants Pass, Oregon. Uh, he taught me a lot of the fundamentals of the sport. And then I, you know, I think that for my mindset, which took me, I think, further in my career was Sergio Gonzalez, who was oh. a 1972 Olympian for the U.S. And he was just a really special man who influenced me and helped me love the sport and love uh, being creative and mentally tough and gave me a mindset that allowed me to be successful. He was quite a man. Didn't he wrestle at UCLA? He did. He was yeah. a five pounder yeah. for the Olympics. He was. Yep. Yeah. Um, did you have a wrestling uh, idol or hero growing up? You, you know, the the way I got into wrestling was uh, just I brought a flyer home from school. But the reason that you know my family, who had no exposure to wrestling, you know, I was the first wrestler of any kind in my family, uh, was that my dad worked with uh, the mother of a local wrestler, Danny Vidlak. So Danny Vidlak was a two-time All-American uh, for the University of Oregon, and so as a as a little kid, when I just started getting in the sport, first through fifth grade, I had his posters up on my wall, huh. and you know wanted to wrestle in college like him. So. Wow. Uh, what Matt? What personal uh, attributes, skills, uh, attitude, whatever, contributed, you know, most to your wrestling success? What personal, you know, characteristics or abilities? you think really help you in wrestling? Yeah, that, that is so tough to pick just one, right? Because wrestlers need, yeah. you need it all to be successful. I would say for me, uh, I was very, I was just so eager to get better that I never took my wins or my losses too seriously. I never got too high or too low from those. And so I was just very hyper-focused on improvement. And so that allowed me to continue to have success instead of plateauing. I think that, and then just I was very mentally uh, tough in a way that I didn't I didn't like to lose. So I fought uh, like until the last whistle, no matter yeah. what the score was. And I think that I ne I always gave myself an opportunity to win because I just fought as hard as I could every time. Yeah. And you know that started in the practice room. Very good. What is the most outstanding memory you have from your career in the sport of wrestling? You know, I think winning a national title was <laughs> was oh, yeah. one that was, you know, qualifying for the Olympics is there. Uh, but actually having success, you know, on the center stage of the national tournament was just a uh, culmination of a lot of work and a lot of belief in myself and just a lot of support from my coaches and my teammates and my family. So I think that uh, moment probably stands out yeah. the brightest. But, you know, again, it's, it's really hard to choose because yeah. uh, they've had a lot of great moments. Throughout your wrestling career, what is the single most important memorable match or event I think you might have just answered that I think I think so yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I think one of my favorite matches was when I qualified for my second Olympics at the Pan American uh, Championships because I had re I was wrestling uh, a Cuban opponent who had beaten me twice very in very close matches and then I beat him in a come from behind win and that punched my ticket to London oh. and so that was a pretty uh, incredible moment in terms of uh, match as well yeah. in terms of emotion. What made you get involved in the sport of wrestling? I, you might have answered that. Too, yeah, too. you know, it was, uh, you know, I, I brought a flyer home from school, yeah. like I said, and uh, but my family looked at me and I was undersized. I was the smallest kid in my class and I was extremely competitive. Uh, they said that I wasn't very fun to play board games with whether I was winning or losing just because I was hyper competitive. And so they thought that, 
you know, my dad really thought that the wrestling might be a good fit for me both physically and mentally because I would, you know, be able to compete against yeah. people my size and, you know, the individual nature of and the, you know, just the physically demanding sport that wrestling is just uh, having that hyper competitiveness yeah. is is an important skill. If you had the opportunity to start your career all over again, is there anything you would change? Um, I think, uh, man, that's a tough one. So for me, I, I don't know that I would have changed yeah. much. I think uh, I probably would have, I, I left Stanford after 10 years and then went to train internationally. And I think I might have done that just a little bit earlier in my career to broaden my horizons. But, you know, I can't, I can't say enough. Yeah. Kerry McCoy had come in at that oh, yeah. time when I graduated, and he was an incredible coach for me. He really uh, taught me how to compete at the international level because I had never really been around an international coach uh, before that. Yeah. So, you know, I was in a great situation, yeah. uh, but I might have left a, a year or two earlier just to... Um, get into a little bit different exposure. environment yeah well when it's all said and done what would you like people to remember about you I think that uh, I learned quickly that if you are kind to people they're more willing to help you and so I was not afraid to ask for help and I just feel so grateful that I had so many people helping me and I do think that you know, just being a tenacious competitor, somebody who, even though I wore a Stanford singlet and Stanford wasn't known for being a tough wrestling yeah. school at that time, that I was going to, you know, make the, a memorable match that I was going to be, you know, tough from the, yeah. you know, I, I was a wrestler that wrestled really hard all the time and never gave up any position uh, despite the what the score was right. or the outcome was. So I think being kind and being just tenacious in all in all positions. I think you're absolutely right. And uh, again, I, in Andy, I want to congratulate you again on your honor, and so. uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. It's an honor to be yeah. here.